Hello, how's it going again? It's me. What an eventful morning so far. Well, we had a situation yesterday wherein my son had a problem with a, what do you call that? Not a classmate so much, but a student on the bus. Because of that, it resulted in this student ending up making death threats, saying he was going to come by and murder him. And normally you'd put that down and chalk that up as something, you know, um, well, at least where I know I've come from, normally you'd chalk that up as something where it's just some kid saying some idle threat that doesn't mean anything. And, of course, my cat wants to get in on the picture here. Here, look. There you go. Okay. Anyway, good down. Anyway, uh, because of that, uh, the next thing that happened was what was more serious. You see, <clears throat> what happened after that was he was dropped off by the bus. He walked up the hill. takes him about 20 minutes to walk up a quarter mile long driveway. Apparently, this student was dropped off at home and immediately grabbed his ATV and came back with what appeared to be a weapon. Drove up the driveway and spun out several times in the driveway. Just to prove his point, be Mr. Big Man, and get the cops called on him by me. You see, I may not be their age, but I at least know that you can't make death threats to somebody and then show up at their house, no matter what area it is, and no matter how screwed up the cultural values can be. At least somewhere along the lines, they got to have some kind of a point where you draw the line. And so... I called the police, they sent out a sheriff's department deputy, and we filled out the paperwork, and uh, that pretty much summed up things as far as uh, the way that things went, I, I mean, that day. Then this morning, I had my paperwork in hand and went on down to the school, and uh, we made an issue out of it, just like what should be done, I mean... If my son could write, I hate teachers, kill them all, in a little notepad as a, a in jest and be expelled from school for a year, if this kid gets away with anything less than expulsion from school, period, I would welcome any legal assistance that would be pro bono out there to come along and help me take this entire township and county school system down, but... Uh, at this point, it looks like they're actually going to do something this time, and um, I'm just making an issue out of it. I guess I'm being one of them northern pricks. They don't like very much here, but hey, that's what I get called anyway all the time. So, um, Other than that, we have the up-and-coming new job to take place, which will be uh, be part of the... Uh, now, just bear with me on this because it sounds like I'm part of the um, the the women's movement for uh, feminine hygiene products. I'll be part of the flow team at Target and uh, working my way up on that level. Uh, I have the a orientation for the um, position on night crew on Wednesday night. So. Um, Wish me luck on that. I mean, nothing really lucky needs to be coming out of it other than the fact that, you know, get my paperwork filled out correctly and watch movies without falling asleep. Other than that, we have the up-and-coming new job to take place, which will be uh, be part of the... Uh, now, just bear with me on this because it sounds like I'm part of the, um, the, the women's movement for... Uh, feminine hygiene products. I'll be part of the flow team at Target and uh, working my way up on that level. Uh, I have the a orientation for the um, position on night crew uh, on Wednesday night. So, um, wish me luck on that. I mean, nothing really lucky needs to be coming out of it other than the fact that, you know, get my paperwork filled out correctly and watch movies without falling asleep. Um, the other thing is I've applied for a position in the uh, the local mall. And um, now, put that together with the other job, working 4 o'clock in the morning, getting done at 2 o'clock, starting at the next job at 3 o'clock in the mall. That leaves me with an, uh, pretty much about like 
30 minutes in between one place to get to the other and change and that kind of thing. And then work from 3 until closing. And then the closing is at uh, 9 o'clock. That would put me at about... Well, shit. Let's see. From 3 o'clock until 9 o'clock, that's 6 hours. And then from 4 o'clock until... 12 is 4, and from 12 to 2, I'm sorry, from from 4 to 12 is 8, and then from 12 to 2 would be another 2 more. That's 12 hours a day, plus 6 hours, that's 18 hours a day. There's only 24 in a 24-hour period, and 18. That doesn't leave much time for travel, because it's 20 to 30 minutes, depending on traffic, to drive back and forth from the areas where these places are located, and then sleep. Still working on the other situation. I have until the first of the year to have everything in the house cleaned up, cleaned out, packed up, labeled, and removed from the residence along with my ass. So, uh, as we all know, it's probably a busy point in the year at uh, Christmas and New Year's, so I won't be looking at uh, doing anything in those two weeks. So that gives me... The first two weeks of December to finalize everything and be finished and gone. Uh, probably by the second week of December into the new place. I mean, it'll be a nice, neat, Christmassy present thing, kind of, whatever, for uh, for us to have another place. But, I, I mean, I, I kind of feel comfortable here. I, I like being in the house, at least, that I'm in. And, um, you know, I, I don't feel like... Um, anything's really wrong with it other than the fact that it's a little bit far away from everything but then again I like being far away from everything like that I like being in inconvenient areas but far away from the people I don't want to live in somebody's front porch like some of the areas I've been to but um, other than that this is where you get to see me talking to you in my own voice with my own eyes so that's it have a good one. Bye-bye.